and so that's what i wrote about in the ninth chapter of my first book it's a reinforcing structure often when we present this plan and it seems to make great sense and we've given them the full picture of what has to happen and why some people are just reluctant and they seem resistant and there's social science that says that we'll often interpret that as personal issues and social science actually says that that's not the case. There are systematic issues below the case, but we're humans, we're more likely to, assume, uh, to assign those to personal differences, and that's not the case. What's happened is often behind the scenes, there's some accountability, some reinforcing mechanism that's in place that's making that people <laughs> tend to, they view it as a conflict. I had a president of a company tell me, he was complaining, he says, I, I don't know what's the matter with our, my people. They're doing this work product here and it's, it's awesome. It's amazing. But I really need them to do, and I've been talking to the board and we need to get this work product done and, and they just haven't done it and, and not to the level we need to. And, and, and I've been after them for a while. I said, how long? A year. And I knew the people involved. They were like, amazing. I said, Dave, what's behind the scenes? What's behind the scenes? He goes, well, there's their bonus. I said, what? He said, well, when they do the regular work, they get X bonus. And when they, when they do the stuff I'm asking for, they get half X. And I went, oh, well, you've told them what's important. You know, why don't you fix that? And so my point is, often we can see, so I'm just saying, often we look at this and some change management uh, thought processes say, look for the resistance to change. And often it's really not people. It's the accountabilities, the, the reinforcing structure under that. And, there, and I, I'm gonna give out a couple, couple of copies of my first book, and it's chapter nine.